Hello. I was asked the question there uh, the other day, Marilyn, why do wars happen? Why are people so hateful? Why do they always seem to want their own way? And why do they not just care about people in the world? Well, the thing is, <laughs> our human nature is just very self-centered and selfish. We all want our own way. We kind of want other people to kind of bow to us from time to time. For whatever reason, we kind of get into these, I call them little snits. <laughs> You know, but the thing is, um, as Christians, uh, we really begin to realize that we need to bow to other other people uh, to get along and so that things can really work. And as we submit ourselves in and under the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit of God and invite the Lord Jesus Christ into our life as our Lord and Savior, He guides and directs us. And we're always going to Him looking for the wisdom, the knowledge that only comes from Him. And so those are the things that help us to be able to live in peace. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the thing is, when we become out of peace, we have to really give a, uh, a real time to really focus on God and just really see what he would say to us. Because wars and rumors of wars have been coming for years and years. And we really need to kind of know what to do with that, especially in this day and age. And one of the things that... Uh, my attention was drawn to was James chapter 3 verses 14 to about 17 says but if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts and do not boast about it or deny the truth such wisdom does not come down from heaven but is earthly unspiritual of the devil for where you have envy and selfish ambition there you find disorder and every evil practice but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace raise a harvest of righteousness. And that's the thing. As Christians, we submit ourselves under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, our Savior. But that's why there are so many wars and rumors of wars and, and fighting in the governmental, uh, it, um, you know, uh, positions that they have. Because um, so many of them, like a bigger majority of them, are not Christians. They don't submit themselves under anyone or anything. They just want their own way. Sometimes people have good ideas to get into the government. And after they get in there, they start taking advantage of things. And that really just throws everything off for everybody. Or they're submitting themselves under all these other people, the higher-ups, the elites, whatever, you know, people call them. And they... they they have to bow because if they don't, then their lives are in shambles because they get threatened and stuff. And so all I'm saying is we really need to submit ourselves under God. People need to ask Jesus Christ into their lives as Lord and Savior. And the only in that way is there ever going to be peace. You know, and uh, you may say, okay, Merlin, well, everyone's not going to become a Christian. No, they're not. I mean, the Bible says that there always will be. There will be evil things going on because people will not submit. And even the Bible talks about that, you know, right in through the beginning of time, right right through to Revelations. People don't want to submit. They want their own way. They want to keep doing things their way. They want to get ahead. They just step on everybody right as they try to get to the top. And so all I'm saying is the only way that we can really have peace in this day and age is taking that time with Jesus Christ, our Savior, and praise and worship, loving our families, and just you know, bowing before the Lord, giving everything before the Lord, you know, whatever our needs are, our cares, our burdens, we can lift those up to him. He hears everything that we say and he will guide and direct us. And so I really hope that this really um, speaks into some area of your life because a lot of people are really struggling with these governmental issues and stuff. And it, it does look very bleak by times. But don't fear because God is still on the throne. He still is in control. Even though you may say, well, gee, it's been a long time, Marilyn, since I've been struggling with this problem. 
take heart. Okay, think way back to when you were a child. Everything is one step at a time. As you get older, we go up these different steps. But the thing that really we need to focus on is we are not our own. We don't belong to ourselves. We belong to him. He has a plan and a purpose for our lives. We were created for his purposes. You know, and we really... There are times when you really just be able to think about how much he loves you and how much, you know, like over the years he has provided for you, like with your family, your friends, you know, and, and it can go on and on and on the list. But he is always in control. He will guide and direct you as you go to him each and every day and try not to get into fear because things will come to pass, you know, uh, wars, rumors of wars, there will be times of storm and and earthquakes and all those sorts of things but do not give up and do not lose heart because he is still guiding and directing you know he loves you he knows everything about you so I really hope that this blesses you today God bless you